What's up, guys? Hope everyone's doing well. It is Friday, January 28th of 2022. Today, I'm actually going to show you how to back up a PSP game. I'm going to back up Power Stone, which I told you in my unboxing that it was one of my favorites for the Dreamcast back in the day. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to back up the video game, um, the USB method. So this part goes to the top. And, of course, this goes to the computer. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can back up a video game. Um, so I'm just going to show you one method right now. Um, also, side note, if you remember, I have a Japanese model. Both X and O's are switched. So once you're done hacking your Japanese model PSP, you hit the select button. You go down to recovery menu. Then you scroll down or move your D-pad down to Registry Hacks. And right from Registry Hacks, I'll pull this in a little closer, swap O and X buttons. Once you do that, once you hit Accept, you got to reset the VSH menu. But I already did this, so I just wanted to show you guys that you could swap your buttons if you have a Japanese-owned um, PSP. So, my video game's in for Power Stone, and we're going to... Rip this to the computer, make this an ISO file, and um, play it off the memory stick, which is going to be great because it's going to save some battery life because the UMD drive isn't moving at all. Um, so you're definitely going to save some battery life. Also, it's going to be quite faster, a little bit faster than normal than reading off a CD. Uh, so yeah, so what you want to do here, you want to hit the select button. Now where it says USB device, it's on memory stick. You could either move it left or right. So once you find UMD disk, leave it. And then hit the select button again. We'll hook this up to the desktop or the laptop, which I have right here next to me. And uh, we'll be good to go. So I'll see you guys over at the PC side of things. All right, we plugged in the USB cord to the computer. As you tell by the bottom right hand corner um, from here what we want to do is we want to go to the file explorer or file manager now my drive is going to be E and that's what it's going to be labeled as the ISO now you can either drag and drop the ISO over or you could always right click and hit copy and then on your desktop you could hit paste so whatever works the best for you doesn't matter as long as you get the file moved over. So this is going to take some time so I'm going to just um, fast forward or speed this up for you. Time lapse. So uh, I'll be right back. Now when you transfer over the file after it gets transferred over you're more than welcome to rename the file to whatever the UMD game you install to rip. It's totally up to you guys. Um, for purposes, I'm just going to leave it as is right now. What you want to do, you want to exit out of the file manager if you want, or just leave it open. But please eject the um, SD card, like you see right there. Let's go back to the PSP side of things, and I'll show you what else to do. All right, now back over to the PSP side of things. I disconnected the top of the cord from the PSP, and this is what it reads right here. Hopefully you guys can read that. So you want to go... Uh, there we go. I forgot what button combination I just hit. Now I gotta wait for this. To... Alright. I'll hit back. There we go. Always to go back. There we go. Just reading the memory card. So the disk is still in. I'll wait till it loads up. That's what it's gonna look like. Popping the disk out. I wonder if this is the same size as a GameCube's disk, but at any rate, close the door. What you wanna do now is you wanna hit the select button now you want to go to where it says USB device. 
read in UMD. We dumped the UMD disk to the computer itself. So we're going to go to memory stick. From here, you want to hit select again to close it. And let's go back to the PC side of things because I'm going to show you guys how to load that ISO to the memory stick so you can play a Power Stone or any whatever game you have right from the memory stick. All right, right from here, I, you insert your SD card right into the computer, as you can tell right below, like I did on the right bottom right hand corner. Um, next, we want to open up the file manager. Now go down to whatever drive your SD card is going to be in. Now from here, it's very important. You got to create a folder if it hasn't already been created called ISO. It has to be in all caps, by the way, too. It can't be lowercase, otherwise this won't work. So once you create the folder in all uppercase letters, you either want to drag and drop if you'd like, or you could either copy and paste it into the uh, SD card. So I'm going to speed this up, and I'll catch you in a few. All right. Once that's completed, like I said, you could rename the file if you want, or it's totally up to you. But please eject, like I said earlier, eject the SD card so you don't mess anything up. Let's go back to the PSP side of things. All right. We moved over the ISO to the memory stick. There you go. A full working ISO on a memory stick. Now, this is definitely going to save you guys some battery life. It's also going to load a lot faster than loading from the from the disk itself, which is good. This is a great utility and opportunity to take care of all your UMDs. If you're one of those collectors that likes to keep things in mint condition, definitely archive all your UMDs or or um, you can always download the ROMs or the ISOs or the .CSOs um, on, online too if you'd like. But if you personally just want ISOs, definitely do this method. You need a USB cable to plug into the top of the PSP that goes in the computer. Drag and drop or copy and paste um, that file. And you're good to go. And that's it. It's simple as that. That's one of the methods. The to rip a game or the copy game or whatever the hell you want to guys want to call it so that's it for now like if you like dislike if you dislike and uh hopefully i'll guys i'll catch you guys sometime again bye